Hello, in this video we're going to show you how to set up your project in Cocos 2DX JavaScript so you can use the networking features of Cocos 2DX. The networking features allow you to communicate with an online server to do stuff like send data, maybe, maybe you're sending a high school or scores to get verified and also you can retrieve data as well so, so perhaps you're getting the global leaderboards. That's just one simple example of what you could be doing with networking this is a freshly generated project so we don't have anything else set up prior to this apart from well a freshly generated project just want to mention one really important thing though i'm using the ide xcode and i'm developing on a mac and i'm going to be testing it in an ios simulator this works for android this works for cocos 2dx in general because cocos 2dx is cross-platform so we won't be doing a video on Android for example because the code is exactly the same there's only one extra thing that you've got to do it and that is add the internet permission to your Android manifest or XML so let's just quickly show you how to do that if you go to your project go to frameworks runtime source go to project Android this is assuming you're running it from the project Android folder in something like Eclipse if you're running it in Android studio you go to app and then go to Android manifest I'll say just do to both files but I'm just going to show you in one so if you just open this up in a text editor you scroll to the bottom where it says uses permissions you want to add the internet permission by default, in my freshly generated project, it was already there. I find that in the newer versions of Cocos 2DX, it already is. But in case they remove it, or in case you're using an older Cocos 2DX version, you have to add the internet permission. Pretty simple stuff. You want to communicate with an online server, which is over the internet. You need permission to, well, use the internet on the user's device. So that's pretty simple stuff. So just make sure you add that line if you're interested in Android development as well. So I'm just going to close that down. Apart from that, there won't really be any mention of Android. Because like I said, this tutorial is cross-platform. So now what we're going to do in our freshly generated project is just remove all the code or most of the code that's generated by default actually you know what what I'm going to do is not edit this file in Xcode simply because the code formatting for JavaScript in Xcode is terrible I'm going to use a really good text data called sublime but you can use whatever you want so like I was saying just remove all the code or most of it because we're just going to be doing setup in here and then in future videos where we're going to be looking at the different features of networking we're just going to be using the log so we can get rid of that as well apart from that we're all good to go so the first thing that you want to do is create a HTTP request you say XML HTTP request and to do that you do var just name it I'm going to name it XHR equals CC dot loader not leader loader dot get xml http request open close bracket and now we need to do xhr dot open and this has two parameters the first parameter is the method so the method can be something like post when you send in data get when you're getting data but if you're using the post aka sending data you can send data and get data in the same request you don't have to do multiple requests which is really cool comma and now the url so enter url here this is a setup video so we're not going to go beyond this we're just getting it all set up xhr dot set request header and for this this takes two parameters first one is content dash type for the web developer that there you will probably understand this quite a bit but just to keep it simple we just do plain text because that's the sort of data we're going to be sending and dealing with now you want to do xhr dot on ready date change equals function and in here it's going to do if xhr dot ready 
update equals four, so it's basically ready to send and xhr dot status is greater than or equal to 200 we'll explain what these numbers are in a second and xhr dot status is less than or equal to 207 so in here we're going to do var http status Ooh, I need to name it correctly http status equals xhr dot status text and we'll be logging this out I'm going to do cc dot log http status http okay I'm going to put some quotation marks so we know what data we're looking at because we're going to be having more than one piece of data we won't be able to see this at the moment because we haven't well, put in a URL type, put in a method, that sort of stuff which we'll be doing in separate videos. So what we've done is we've created our HTTP request. We've specified the method that we're going to be communicating to our server with, the web page that we'll be communicating with, the request header, and a method that is called when something happens with XHR. Then in here we just check has everything gone correctly because like I said I'll show you or I'll explain what these mean and the request header means if I just go to do, 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 new window and I'll just type in HTTP request headers so firstly if you want a bit more information about the different request headers like I said was going to be dealing with plain text and it was content type but you can check out all the different ones but really what we're doing in this tutorial is more than sufficient and the other thing was HTTP error codes, because that's what it was, status codes, sorry. Scroll down, and we had 200, 200 is okay, 207 is pretty much okay as well. But generally speaking, 200 is the ideal one, because it means everything has gone a-okay. And if we just go back to our do -do 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 project, Sublime. So yeah, that's what we were doing, just making sure it's ready to send. The status is all good, Every, everything is a okay. Then, in here, we can do something like if we're getting some piece of data, we can actually get that data, manipulate it somehow, report to the user. Maybe we're showing the high scores from the database on our server. So, that's it for this video. Actually, better save it. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php. Actually, sorry, forgot one thing, and, and that is to do with iOS development. So we had something to do with Android development and iOS. So if while you're running this, and you've got it set up using our other videos where you're actually communicating with a URL. For an iOS, you get a error or a warning like this app, transport security has blocked a clear text, HTTP resource, load since it is insecure, temporary exceptions can be configured via your apps info.plist file. This is just occurring because you aren't accessing a secure website. If it's like your own web server, then it's fine because maybe you haven't purchased the security feature. To get around that, just go to your project, go to info, which is the info.plist, and we want to add an extra property. Just right click any of the keys, click add row, make sure it's a root property and it's not indented. And in here, you want to scroll down or scroll up, sorry, select app transport security settings, just open it up, right click, add row, make sure this is indented in it, and select allow arbitrary loads set this to yes and now you have ios set up as well to communicate with an online server so like i was saying if you have any questions feel free to post it on our education platform sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php there'll be a link in the description to that there'll be another link in the description to the source code from this video and the source code from all of our networking videos if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment and hit that subscribe button as it really does help us. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.